There are some terrific opportunities here in the city of Lawndale. And uh, that As new you know, city, uh, the community center, is mm -hmm. absolutely beautiful, and it's getting a lot of utilization. Yes, yes, it's been a great uh, community center, a lot of activities going on, after school programs. Well, we, we hear the cheers and applaud for Mr. Robert Pullen Miles, our new mayor for the city of Lawndale. He's walking in any time now. That's right, he's making the walk, trying to make his way through the crowd, and uh, the people hopefully will let him through and, and come on in and talk to us for a few minutes. And Robert Pullen Miles, who has been a, an incumbent councilman for quite some time. Yes, I believe he actually had the seat as of uh, 2004 as a city council member, but hopefully we'll get to uh, speak with him in a few minutes. And Lou, did you want to talk about the uh, sports event that you uh, cover here at the city of Lawndale? Well, this Just year so far, uh, there's we're going to be covering one of the baseball games. And, uh, well, we can go ahead and see which one that is, mm -hmm. if I can find it on my calendar here. And that was going to be on Thursday, I do believe. And it will be on a TV near you. On a TV near us? Uh, yes, absolutely. Okay. And as a matter of fact, I just got to switch, switch electronic devices here. <laughs> Now, while you do that, I will continue to talk about the uh, Londalian, actually. As you know, Londalian is one of the uh, news uh, uh, papers that is very, very uh, important here in the city of Londale. And I just found out that you can go online and uh, get that online as well. So um, as the uh, digital technology is improving, uh, the Londalian newspaper is also uh, going to be available for you to take a look at online. And that also tells you about most of the events that are going to be happening happening in the city of Lawndale uh, within the next few months to come. Well, that baseball game is going to be lo losing her at Lawndale, so uh, tune in on City TV as that will be recorded for broadcast at a later date. That's wonderful. Now, um, before we get a chance to speak to Mr. Robert Pullen Miles, uh, we got to touch, uh, actually talk about the Large Avenue Park. And uh, are we ready? Yes. Here he comes. He's being escorted in right now. And uh, again, on live television. Robert Pullen Miles, congratulations. Good to see you. All right, All right. let's just uh, get this microphone okay. on you, Mr. Mayor. If I can Thank be the you. first reporter to call you Mr. Mayor. Thank you. That's right. All right, there you go. Now, as All always, right. you okay. are pulling for us. Is I'm that always correct? pulling for you. Yes, yes. ma'am. I'm pulling for you. As always. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate right. it. How Thank do you, you feel? Oh, man, I feel, I feel wonderful. I feel blessed. I feel like we, we've come a long way. We've got a long ways to go, but I feel good. I feel blessed. How hard of a battle was it? You know, this was a hard battle because when you talk about instituting change, change is not something you do overnight. It takes a lot of persuading people that change is good. Inevitably, things change, and you have to be part of that change. So this was a tough battle. This is actually one of the toughest races um, that I've been a part of. But I had a tremendous team. I couldn't have done it, obviously, by myself. I mean, my team, as well as the volunteers that came out, wonderful, splendid. I mean, they put in work. When you're talking about putting in work, I'm talking about not when, you know, I'm around. They're still putting in work whether I was there or not. So I got to give it up for my team. My team is what made this happen. Well, and the voters, sure. the voters ultimately, obviously, is the arbitrator of, of the election, and the voters made this happen. And I just want to thank all the voters and all the residents in the city of Lawndale for putting their trust in me and leading the city. I feel good. Well, did I tell you I feel good? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I feel good. 55.2% of the vote went to you, Robert. Okay. And Dan ended up with 44.8%. Right. And Dan mm -hmm. had to be uh, right, a formidable. This is my first time looking at this. You know, you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. Technology, yeah. man. <laughs> so you, you need to get into the 90s. Yeah, I mean, I got a smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. Right. But see, I'm okay, a little older. Good. I got to have that big okay, thing. Okay, okay, I got you. I got you. That's pretty now good. So now Dan Reed was a formidable opponent. He went right to the roots and, and went stomping and wore out shoe after shoe, knocking on doors to try to get votes. Is that what you did too? Well, you know, that's the only way you can do it. You got to knock on doors. You have to deliver your message. You have to tell the people what you want to do, what your vision is, and you have to incorporate their vision. Because when their vision is your vision, you got to win a formula there. So we did a lot of walking, a lot of talking, a lot of talking. I mean, throughout the, the campaign, I was uh, hit about with, um, with bronchitis. And oh, my wow. doctor said 